tonight. We'll talk about the history of Vaxinovum. Um, but it would be very unwise only to talk about history. We will also look at the brilliant future of Baxter-Novum. And one of the people who can help make that future even more brilliant is my first guest, Dr. Peter Stenwinkel. Dr. Stenwinkel, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Now, um, I often hear um, about this gap between scientists doing their thing in a lab and clinical practice, the world where the patients are. Is there such a gap at Baxter-Novum? I think you refer to translational research, and I think when you are at Baxter Novum, you have excellent opportunities to follow all the way from uh, bed to bedside, because Baxter Novum is affiliated with the Karolinska Institute, and if you are affiliated with Karolinska Institute, you have good resources in your back. And for example, we have had a lot of collaboration with the brilliant researchers such as Professor Martin Schalling and Louise Nordfors, uh, geneticists. And at the same time, we have access to large patient cohorts. We are the Department of uh, Renal Medicine, and I think this is a very good basis for translational research. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll also talk about EDTA, of course, um, where you're also a key figure. Um, you're here to honor, to honor um, three scientists who um, received the EDTA grant. Um, now, in order to receive such a grant, you need to have special merits. What merits did you discover in those three scientists we're discussing? Well, Chris, I'm really glad that you asked this question because this gives me the opportunity to practice on some new English words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and at first, we really want our uh, scientists, they should be sagacious and creative. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Second, research is a very tedious work, so we need researchers to be meticulous and we want them to have uh, uh, stamina. And also, we like a good social life. So we don't mind having uh, rambunctious researchers, although we don't want them mm -hmm. to be too obstreperous. Okay, that's <laughs> a lot of conditions. <laughs> when they come to your office or, or to the office of Bengt Lindholm, are they being tested on all those things? Yes, there is a little okay. test, and I think all of them will do that. But I, I, finally, I, I should say that research is a teamwork. And yeah. as um, Bernard Cournot once said, whereas art is I, science is we, and I think this is a very good motto for um, Baxter Novum because we really need uh, team builders. Mm -hmm. I think enough of the suspense, I think we can reveal their names now, no? Okay. Who are the EDTA grant recipients? First, we have Juan Jesus Carrero from Spain. Then we have Mahmoud Ilker Yilmaz from Turkey. And third, we have I have been practicing the whole afternoon to say his name Me correctly. As well. <laughs> you go his, first. Yeah, his name is Michal Klimerski from Poland. Wonderful. Well, I say let's congratulate them and why not getting to know them a little better? En mi caso había dos cosas fundamentales. La primera es que Karolinska Institute es uno de los mejores centros de Europa a nivel de investigación biomédica. Había una serie de coincidencias que me hicieron llegar y es que eh, mi, mi mujer eh, era una nefróloga trabajando en, en la misma unidad que Pieter Stenwinkel y Ben Dinholm. To get into, into a group of uh, top researchers, those big names that you see in the papers and that you don't think you would be able to address them in person, but they, they are just uh, friends of the group, that we, we collaborate with them. And one of the best things, I think, is how uh, reachable and accessible all of these people can be. I cited uh, the, uh, the works of, uh, of uh, the team uh, from Baxter Novel many times in, in my article. And that's what I have appreciated the most, possibly, the possibility to do great research and the possibility to share it with, with top people who would really recommend you how to continue further. I have focused in, uh, in two areas that I, I think are very common in our patients. One is the lack of appetite and how that might have been influenced by, uh, by inflammation to a much bigger extent than we thought about the regulation of uh, molecules involved in the appetite regulation such as leptin, adiponectin, ghrelin and so on. Research is important, as you know, but Friendship is very, very, very important for me. If I achieve, if I achieve something 
in Baxter Novum. This is thanks to the, my friends. If we need help, uh, we can just go to any other colleague. I can just go to any other colleague uh, to ask for it. Uh, and obviously, I can always go to, to Bank Lincoln and ask for his help. And I always get this. I, I talk a lot and I talk very fast. And they thought that maybe I was, I was being very aggressive in my talk. But uh, you just get to understand that we are, we are all different. Hola, du svenska. Yeah, I speak a little Spanish, man, and I'm learning Swedish as well because even though everyone speaks English and they make it extremely easy and comfortable for you to come there, I, since I want to try to stay a little bit longer there, I thought it was important to know the language. So, and it helps a lot, especially with the patients; they feel much more comfortable. There are differences. One is climate-wise, and and uh, you just accept them. I and it's you get used to being dark and you get used to being frozen and cold but uh, it passes so quick when you have so many things to do that uh, uh, summer is just one st uh, step away. Friendship is very, very, very important. Wow, gentlemen, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. We are in Stockholm. This feels like the Nobel Prize award ceremony. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Dr. Correro. Um, now, obviously, you and your wife, Karen, are now fully focused on your daughter, Alva. Uh, do you have time to focus on science these days? Yeah, I have been a father from the last four days, so mm -hmm. I think that all my attention <laughs> is dedicated. Uh. <laughs> Which is quite normal. To this scientific project, which seems very scientific <laughs> yeah. up to now. You it's haven't really been anywhere near a lab in the last seven Absolutely days not. Yet, well, the, the hospital is <laughs> close to the lab. So. OK, OK. <laughs> um, but your, your, your work um, in Baxter-Novum started in a very creative, original way. How did you get in touch with Baxter-Novum? It wasn't at a university or in a lab. No, it was a bit by chance, because mm -hmm. my wife works with Pieter Stenwinkel in the clinic. She's a nephrologist, as I said. and. Uh, we went out with all the group at an opera, and I met Bank there, and we, I asked him for advice about places to make a postdoc, and uh, he, we started talking, and we ended up deciding that we should work together and we should find fundings, and the EDTA was the answer to our okay. prayers. The same evening at the opera, it was all decided? <laughs> no, that was no, the following day. Oh, yeah, <laughs> now, Dr. Yilmaz, um, yes. in, in the report, we have seen that it's, it's, it's been quite um, emotional for you to say goodbye to Baxanova. Yeah. What was this impact on your, on your life? Yeah, first of all, I'd like to thank you to invite me and give me the opportunity to share my experiences and express my feelings of the being uh, of the wonderful uh, ERET and Baxter Nome family. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, we, uh, when I learned to win the ERET fellowship program, my wife and my daughters and me, and were very excited to come here. And when we uh, came here, and all friends showed us great interest. And uh, therefore, I want to thank each of you. And uh, apart from the great progress in my research career, this study period uh, also has a great meaning for me and my family as regards multinational and multicultural friendships. Yeah. And therefore, I cannot express uh, my feelings well enough to define my happiness for working in collaboration with such a wonderful team, mm. Baxter No. I think that's clear. Your research, let's talk about your research. What have you been doing? Here? Yeah, uh, I spent last year at working uh, at Baxter Novum together with Bang Lindholm and Peter Stanwinkel and about 10 and 15 co-workers from more than 10 different countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, together we performed uh, quite a number of studies uh, which improved my scientific vision and skills as a clinical researcher. I especially studied on adipocytokines, wispatin, and uh, no uh, inflammatory markers, uh, pantraxin 3, and uh, nitric oxide metabolism, asthmatic demethylarginine, and vascular calcification inhibitors, fetuin A, in CKD and non diabetic diabetic uh, uh, proteinuric patients. My, my, um 
intuition says that you could use another year to go to go on working on those topics. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe so we should talk to Professor Bentholm yeah, later. Yeah, I, I hope so. Thank <laughs> uh, yeah. Lindholm. Um, I'm, I'm switching to um, Dr. Milewski. Um How did you get involved in Baxter Nova? Well, it was quite straightforward, actually. My boss, Bolesław Rutkowski, has introduced me to Bengt, and I have prepared a project of the proposed work. And my boss liked it, and Bengt liked it, and Eridita liked it, and they showed it by giving me this uh, fellowship. 